time no see hello i'm back and um i wanted to do something special i wanted to end 2020 um with just kind of like uh not a recap but just like i guess um a summary of my 2020 experience so welcome to my 2020 kiki um i call it a 2020 kiki because it really is just like um pull up your pull up your chair get your wine get your coffee juice water whatever and just sit down and let's talk so um yeah, so this is probably going to be a little lengthy video because I'm just going in a lot of directions, okay? I took a break from my video content. Um, so I guess that, <laughs> that, I guess that's how I start this, um, Kiki is just going over all the creative, all the creative content, all the content that I just started creating this year. Um, this year has been like the most creative year for me, I would say since 2016. Um, looking back over my timeline of creativity, I... I always, you know, every year I was doing something creative, but it kind of got away from me doing it for me and me doing it for other people. And that's not bad, but at the same time, it's like when you are strictly working on stuff for other people, you kind of start losing focus of yourself and you start losing um I would say even a little bit of confidence, but I don't want to say that I didn't have confidence in myself because I still was doing really good stuff with others, but it's just that I didn't have a direction for myself, really. So um, this year, however, I was, I challenged myself to um, get back into my creative seat. And the way I did that was a little bit untraditional for me. Um, so it's kind of blending some old things with some new things. Um, creatively, I, um, I've always made stuff. Um, I've always done photo shoots and um, just beauty stuff, you know, fashion, all of that type of stuff. But I never really talked about myself and I never really talked about my journey and my process and my mind. I never exposed that part of me. So that's why I say it's kind of blending old with new um, because if you look at uh, just the things I've done this year, it all has been creative, but most of it has kind of been just me really exposing um myself and so if you're a person that um has known me for a couple of years you may have gotten a chance to kind of learn some new things about me and um just kind of get to know me on more of my intellectual side and um i guess my spiritual side too um i didn't even know my spiritual side so i'm Nobody else knew my spiritual side, obviously. Um, but yeah, just kind of like a lot of people, um, you know, they see, oh, you do this, you do that. But they don't know that your girl got a brain. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I do have a brain. So, um... So starting with the list of things, um, so first thing I did was I started talking about, um, 
stuff I've been through, just kind of opening up, sharing my journey. Um, and kind of like, I guess, giving advice, you know, like a free advice from me. Um, was this a tell-all? Was this everything I've been through? No, there are parts of my journey that I absolutely am not at a point where I feel comfortable exposing that to really much of anybody. Um, but, you know, and there's some things that, you know, you just have to keep for yourself uh, because you don't want to come off as um, performative or, oh, look what happened to me or, you know, that's not how I want to come off. Um, I uh, am. I, I'm referring to my message from me. Yeah, message from me series. Um, and you know, it was really just me getting some stuff off of my chest for once and for all. It was also which I've talked about me challenging myself to speak up because um and just not hold so many experiences in and you know feel like oh I, I can't talk about this I just have to move on no you go, you can talk about it you won't talk to yourself you won't talk to the world whoever watching um about what's going on or what went on so um that's what that was about and that was just a really transformative experience for me which I have also talked about um but it kind of got to the point for me because I had been do I started in February and then I um I pretty much did it I yeah I did message from me all the way up until August August 20 yeah august 2020 i don't know why i had to think about the year like <laughs> anyway um and so it got to a point for me with the message from each content that um i don't know i have so i have become one of those astrology whores who just connects everything back to astrology and you know because it just has played a major role in my life and just really helps me to be clear about who I am and not to make myself beat myself up about certain things okay so I'm an Aries rising and so um being an Aries rising means that really I actually am an Aries like stripped of all the other aspects i'm a aries so with that being said i kind of have this thing where i don't want to say i get bored easily because i don't get bored easily but it's more like after something kind of loses its once you don't feel that fire you know, once something loses the passion, you're kind of just like, all right, I, I, I'm i done with it. And that could be anything. That could be, you know, a uh, content I'm working on, a project I'm working on, a relationship I'm in. If I ain't feeling it, if it's not hot, I don't want it. <laughs> so, um... With that being said, it just kind of got to a point with the message from each content that I just kind of start feeling like I really think that I have gotten to a point where I feel really happy about my, my level of expression and I am feeling so much more confident in myself. I feel like I have really got a lot of weight off my shoulders and I feel like I can stop doing this. I don't have to do this. I completed my goal. Okay. And that's another thing. 
I am really intentional, um, you know, when I do stuff. So it's like, you know, I'm really goal oriented. So when I started the content, like I said, the goal was I'm going to do this to get some things off my chest. I'm going to do this to practice speaking up for myself and, you know, boosting my confidence. And, um, you know, it was just a part of it was an active way for me to heal. I've talked about all this before. But, um, you know, so that was my goal. So once I started seeing the results from months and months and months and months and months of this content rolling over, I was like, okay, we got the goal accomplished. That's a check. Let's move on. But it was placed on my heart to go ahead and, and go over chakras. Um, and so I did my, that was the last thing I did was my chakra series. Um, and in the chakra series, uh, I basically went over just um, some really basic content, but I also put my spin on it. So if you are getting into spirituality or you're, you know, and I, I really even hate saying that, getting into spirituality. I mean, everybody is already spiritual. You just don't realize that, okay? So if you are adding, let me let's say that, if you are adding to your spirituality and you want to go, you know, and go to another level with it, I really encourage you to take some time out to um, watch my content on chakras because I feel like the way I explained it is just really, really down to earth. Um, and it's really the way I broke it down makes it easy to see not only where you're struggling, but how to improve the things you're struggling with. Um, and I say that because when I was studying the chakras, it was some points where I couldn't even post some of them videos until I got myself in check because I'm sitting up there studying the um, the chakras and I'm like, oh baby, you, you can't post this because you you need to work on this area first let's work on this area for like a week and then we gonna post this video when we a little more on point okay so you know a lot of the content um like a lot of the spiritual content that i have been posting it most of it not all of it okay because i really i don't have all of these issues that i'll be addressing but a lot of it comes from personal experience so i never want anyone to watch my content and be like "Ooh, she throwing shade Ooh, who's she talking about i'm not talking about really nobody i'm talking about me sometimes i am talking about other people because i literally had to learn certain things from other people so and that's not negative you learn from other people all the time. Um, and sometimes you got to discuss what you learn. Boom. That's it. That's period. Point blank. Okay. So, um, but yeah, so that would, that kind of wrap my content up. Um, because after I finished the chakra series, um, not only was, like I said, I already kind of burnt out on making the message from niche videos, but also, um, I just didn't want to be seen on camera as much. Uh, and you know, I, I wanted to take a break. I was, this year has been a year of grief for many people and grief comes in many different forms. And so, you know, one thing I did this year that was, um, Diff also transformative and different for me is that I started going to therapy in May of 2020. So, you know, with having a therapist, talking to them, telling them what you've been going through and all of these type of things, um, you know, I've been experiencing grief this year. And there have been some people that have died this year that I know that are in my family. Um, and that are just, you know, I just had a relationship with, 
But more importantly, I died this year. I, I died this year. Um, parts of me were um, let go because they no longer serve me. So when you lose parts of yourself, it hurts. And you don't know, you know, really how to handle that besides to just keep pressing through, you know? And so all of the creative projects that I've done were just ways for me to keep going. Again, Aries rising, baby. We That's how we do. We just keep going, keep going, keep going. So it takes somebody to come in and tell us, stop slow down, just breathe, okay? We are not good at taking breaks. We are just little set-it-offs, okay? So, um, you know, it just got to the point where I was, I had to realize I'm still grieving. Eight, nine months into the year, I'm still grieving my loss of life okay because 2020 has been a year that's changed and rearranged lives permanently there is no going back to whatever you had but you know post 2020 okay so understanding that and processing that not only does it take you pushing through, but it takes you sitting down and just sitting in it as well. So I kind of, in the fall time, had to start implementing ways to slow down and to com complete the processing that I started because there was, message from me was a way for me to process a lot of things, but then there was some processing that I needed to do off camera.